everyone. Thanks for clicking on to this afternoon's Weather Extra. I'm tracking some heavier bands of snow moving in late this afternoon and evening. We expect the heaviest bands, in fact, most of the snowfall accumulation to occur uh, during the evening and through the first part of tonight. Before we get into the forecast, though, let's take a look back. And the reason for that... One year ago today, we hit 70 degrees. We can at least reminisce on the nice weather, right? In fact, on March 22nd, one year ago, uh, 2012, of course, 82 degrees in Portland. And there it is. I dug up the video. Notice the nice deep blue sky, the summer conditions, folks enjoying themselves out on Old Orchard Beach, of course. Uh, eating, eating some Cheez-Its and some Capri Sun right there, or drinking Capri Sun. Nice day one year ago. Now, March can go either way. And the reason I want to show you these videos here, we can get really warm weather in March and we can get snowstorms in March. This is one of the more memorable snowstorms over the last couple of years. We got close to nine inches of snow on March 2nd, 2009. And this is some video from the St. Patrick's Day storm. Uh, this uh, back in 2007. That was an interesting year. Remember that one? We had the St. Patrick's Day storm, we had the Valentine's Day storm, we had the Patriot's Day nor'easter, so a lot of them uh, happened on holidays. And today is actually St. Joseph's Day. Every good Italian wears red on St. Joseph's Day. So today can be the St. Joseph's Day storm. How's that? That storm, of course, we had eight inches of snow in Portland, but many towns had over a foot of snow over the interior. Okay, Doppler HD. As expected, we got into that lull this afternoon with just light snow, and it's sort of interesting. Whenever you get into March, you get the sun angle, which is quite a bit higher. You get that radiation that even filters through the clouds, so any dark surfaces, like roadways, for instance, the snow has a hard time accumulating on. That's going to change as we go through the afternoon and evening. Notice that heavier band of snow moving up through southern New Hampshire and northern parts of Massachusetts. In fact, let's try to zoom right down there if we can. There it is. There's a little bit of uh, rain mixing in there as well. That's the coastal low that's going to get cranking later this afternoon. That should produce some heavier bursts of snow uh, as we go through the late afternoon, more so towards the evening and through the first part of tonight. The other big story is the wind. Notice the wind's gusting to 40 miles per hour. I still can't rule out some scattered power outages, but it uh, looks like uh, they should be scattered in nature anyway as far as power outages. Wind should stay strong, gusting 30 to 40 through late afternoon and evening. Here's the structure of our storm system. We have an area of low pressure up in the Great Lakes. This is that coastal low we've been advertising. This one's going to get cranking as it moves up into the Gulf of Maine. So the worst of the storm system is still yet to come. Many towns will pick up another half a foot, maybe six, seven, uh, eight inches of snow just uh, tonight alone. All right, here we are, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We're getting into some of those heavier bands. This is a forecast model based on the, it's the RPM model. Notice that rain snow line is pretty close. That's something I still want to watch along southern and coastal regions. Temps have been slightly above the freezing mark here in Portland, and they should remain that way through early evening. But they will be cooling, and as soon as that happens, we're going to start to see our road conditions deteriorate pretty quickly. Snow bands will become quite a bit heavier. Snowfall rates will be about 1 to 2 inches per hour uh, through the uh, early nighttime hours. This is 7 o'clock tonight. Now, the good news, some of the steadiest and heaviest snow will be moving out by midnight or shortly after midnight. This is 7 o'clock in the morning. We're seeing the last of the snow exiting down East Main. We're going to see some improvement on Wednesday with a mixture of clouds and sun. It will stay windy on Wednesday, but this time the wind will be out of the uh, west-southwest. So. Uh, temperatures should be warming into the upper 30s. Uh, as we head into the uh, late week time frame, there's another storm that's going to come close to us. Some forecast modeling is suggesting uh, that we may see a few inches or maybe light accumulations with that one on uh, Thursday night or Friday. Other forecast modeling is suggesting that storm is going to stay too far to our east, so we'll watch it for you. Snowfall accumulation through tonight. Here we are about 8 o'clock. It seems to be pretty much re pretty reasonable. Many towns here are around a half a foot of snow, but notice as I put this into motion, uh, notice how those snowfall totals ramp up to many towns probably around 10 inches of snow. This is run off the RPM model and I can't really disagree with that with some of the heaviest snow moving in tonight. I do think we're on the lower end of some of these totals here in Portland, probably 9, 10, 11, 12, somewhere in there. As you head inland where it stays a fluffier snow, more so back through the mountains, uh, there will be spots over a foot of snow there. There's that seven day forecast. Again, improving weather. We're watching that storm coming close to us Thursday night and Friday. A uh, longer range forecast. Temps warm up a little bit, but overall temps will be nowhere near where they were one year ago this week. That's the way things look. Another update coming up on News 13 Live at 5, and of course, updates on the web as well. Uh, we'll see you then. Have a nice afternoon.